One moment of teenage madness does not define me. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a video about the recent racist TikTok video. Hey, today we're making... No. First we have... Black. black. Yeah, yeah. pretty black. Yeah. Next we have... Don't, don't have a dad. Don't have a dad? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have eat watermelon and fried chicken. Fried chicken yeah. and watermelon? Yeah, that's, that's yeah, pretty good. That's, that's, yeah. Next one is uh, make good choices. Let's um, see. Oh. oh, oh there's there, there's oh. nothing there. Next we have rob people. Specifically whites. Yeah, they do that. Last one is go to jail. I can't say I'm surprised. I know that people have these thoughts, but like to really see it on a platform that is so new in 2020, like, wow, we have gone nowhere. <laughs> but when I watched it, I'm like not offended at all because it's clearly two very stupid, unintelligent people talking about some stuff that, they, that makes them feel big. Being racist is all about power and they feel powerful and better than black people right now. I watch that and I know that they're not better than me in any way, shape, or form. Also, they just got expelled. So interesting, racism has nothing to do with me and everything to do with you, like, or with them. Like that just crazy, warped, egotistical viewpoint has literally nothing to do with me and all to do with your stupidity. And I watched it and I wasn't offended one bit. I was just like, wow. People really be stupid. <laughs> like, something that I'm done with and just completely over is this whole notion that every white person deserves their racist period. Like all these famous people whose racist videos from their past resurface or like things they've said like Camila Cabello on her Tumblr. That Tumblr page, if you didn't see it, was ridiculous. Like on the same level of this video of like blatant racism. It's one thing which is still bad, but one thing when like white kids sometimes or like or white people in general are like, well, why can't I say the n-word? I hear it on all the rap songs. Like my friends say I can say it. My black friends said I could say it, so it's okay. That is still bad, but that is more about just wanting something that you can't have and just like white people having an issue not being able to say something because white entitlement. White entitlement, white privilege makes it hard for people to understand that there are some things you cannot say because they're hurtful and rooted in a very deep, dark history. That I see as more ignorant, whereas like this stuff, like Camilla's Tumblr page, these TikTok videos are like racist. Like, I am better than you completely in every single way because of the sack of skin I was born into. It's not even, it's just so, like, simplistically racist. Like, if you're gonna be ignorant, be dynamic about it. Also, if you're gonna be racist, like, keep it a secret. Like, don't put it on the internet. Oh my goodness. Like, you just exposed yourself. Like, that's all you did. You didn't make any black person feel any less than they are, even though that was your intention. You just made yourself look stupid. But I am just over this whole idea that, oh, well, white people get to be racist in their teens because they're young and stupid. So, like, if racist comments come out, like, it's just what happens when you're young and dumb. I was never like that. I was never like that towards anyone. There was no point in my childhood where I was like, oh, yeah, it'd be really fun to be a dick here. Like, I just think it's not that hard to be a good person and you don't, you don't get a free pass. Just because you're white, you don't get a free pass to, like, shit on other races for a couple years. And then be like, oh, remember that time when I was just young and dumb? Like, no, you don't get to do that. Especially these days when I think information is so much more accessible with the internet. Like, these kids know it's wrong. And when you look at her apology, so her apology goes, I want to apologize for the abhorrent video I posted. So your video was so stupid that you're trying to make up for it by using a big word in the first sentence. I see what you're doing. I know in my heart how wrong it was. Oh man. I believe blacks are human too. Made in the image of Christ. Please use your religion to try and wipe away all your crimes. You've been doing it forever, I bet. I have disappointed God 
and I want to apologize. Listen, I believe in God, and I believe God has nothing to do with this. Stop trying to bring God into it to try and, like, put yourself on a pedestal, like, I'm a Christian, I, I just, I'm sorry, I repent for my sins. This is just you being a dick. Don't bring God into this. Don't try and elevate your status with your... I just don't like the way a lot of Americans in the Bible Belt react to things and use God as an excuse for all their bad behavior. I'm sorry I said it. What does God have to do with you being racist? Leave God out of it. It's not, it's not, it's not his fault. It's yours. My favorite juxtaposition is, I have disappointed God and I want to apologize. Please don't contact my college. I have disappointed God Almighty, the highest power, but please, please don't contact my college. <laughs> it's like, I have committed the greatest sin. Please don't contact my college even though I committed the greatest sin. She's probably not gonna get into college now because she got expelled. It's my future, and one mistake should not ruin a life. That one mistake shows you are a terrible human. It's not just one mistake, oh, I forgot to uh, take out the garbage. That's one mistake. There were so many points in this process where she could have been like, wow, this is a bad idea. Wow, I'm a terrible person. So much thought went into this. They had to get paper. They wrote things on paper, placed it in different locations in the bathroom. Like, it was very well thought out. There was not just one mistake in there. There was like so much intention and thought behind the process of showing the world that you're an asshole. Like, it's not one mistake, honey. Or that I mistakenly thought this was just edgy humor. Having seen similar jokes all over TikTok, directed at both whites and blacks. Yes, black people do make a lot of jokes about white people. However, black people did not enslave white people for several years, so it's, it's different. I can just tell by that comment that she believes in reverse racism. It does not reflect who I am, though. I have friend. I have friends of all races. <laughs> My best friend's dog lives next door to black people. <laughs> so I'm allowed to say the N-word. <laughs> like... One moment of teenage madness does not define me. I think it's interesting for a teenager to be referring to their own teenage madness. Like, if you have enough self-awareness to call it teenage madness, you should have enough self-awareness in the moment to not post something like that. Like, it's, like, weird to be making fun of your age at that age, you know what I mean? It's super easy to be racially ignorant, unaware. I believe the word racist to hold a lot of power in its intention. Like, you can't accidentally be racist. You can accidentally be racially insensitive, racially biased, all of these other things. But being racist takes intention and a lack of education. Being racist is like a big deal. You know what I mean? Being racially insensitive, that happens every day. Most people are racially insensitive to someone. But being racist, like, takes some work. Like, there are many times where you could have chosen the different path and you always chose wrong. I've never been this scared. Being a black person is scary. There are so many different situations where you can get either harmed or killed simply for the color of your skin. Don't talk about fear right now when something you did reinforces a system of fear oppressing black people. I just think it's so ironic, like, how much she's talking about fairness and being scared. I'm really glad there's actually consequences here. I think we just need to stop giving free passes and take racism, racial ignorance, all of that more seriously. And maybe stuff like this won't happen, but also it's like, to some extent, that couple is a product of their environment. And whatever environment created two people who thought that was okay, created a lot of other people who are doing other things that we're not seeing. <laughs> so there's more people like that. But I don't know, something needs to change because this is still happening and people still think it's okay. But anyways, I just had to go off real quick. Thank you for listening. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.